the limitations of recursive functions. Uh, as we already seen two examples, the recursion concept always will reduce the coding part. But the problem with the recursive calls is first we analyze the factorial uh, example. What factorial has done there? N into factorial of n minus n minus one. So what are we doing? Four into factorial of four minus one is three. So what is happening? You are going to another function call. In such cases, this what about this value four? It should not be forget by the system. So what the system does is it will take the concept of stacks, a data structure, and it will place four in that stack, and then it will place factorial of three above that part in the above of the stack. Next time when I need to call this function factorial of three, what happens? This factorial of three goes away. It will give a value called three into factorial of two. So what happens? This value should not be forgotten. So this three will be stored here, and again factorial of two will be done. This happens continuously until factorial of one is calculated, and the recursive call breaks. Now what happens? All these values will be stored in stack, so those will not be vanished, and you can easily calculate the factorial. Now if it is a factorial of four, this is the case. Now if you would like to call, calculate the factorial of nine or any other bigger number, what happens? It includes more stack space. This is a stack, so it will take lots of stack space and eventually memory also. That's why when large number of recursive calls are there, we will have more stack space and more memory gets wasted. And one more thing, what happens? Not only the values, even the the statuses of those functions have to be placed in the memory. The n value here, the n value must be stored, and every return value also has to be stored properly. So this has to happen for each and every. Function call for this lots and lots of memory has to be given for that, and it is very difficult for us to find out any error in the recursive calls. Suppose if you have hundred recursive calls, if it, the recursive call has any problem with the ninety eighth recursion call, we cannot trace it easily. It becomes very difficult. So these are some of the limitations of recursive functions that we have discussed in this session.